Jared, what's uh, what's going through your mind? Nobody talks about a no hitter, but what's going through your mind? Um, just crazy. Um, you know, I still can't believe it happened. Crazy thing is, um, man, my dad said at walk on yesterday, he's, um, he's like, you can throw a no hitter. I was like, why, you, like, you know, why are you saying that? You know, putting putting that on me, and I was, you know, expecting to get, you know, hit all around the ballpark today. And the next thing you know, it happened. That's it's crazy the way things work, and uh, you know, I'm just happy to, you know, that we got the win. Plan on talking to your dad before every game, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yep. What point did it cross your mind that you had a chance to finish it off? Uh, probably after the fifth. Uh, it still was, you know, zero-zero game, so you know, that wasn't really on my mind then. And then, um, you know, we scored those three runs. And I had a quick sixth inning, and uh, my pitch count stayed, you know, within range. And um, you know, it was. It was probably around the fifth inning when you know, nobody in the dugout wanted to talk to me, and I, you know, I kind of felt awkward. I was like, man, I like to talk to people ah. <laughs> during the game. <laughs> that tastes terrible. I just went out there and tried to, you know, fill up this zone and let the defense work. Uh, none of this would have been possible without, you know, Kramer and Cole and, um, you know, Josh at third base. Uh, those guys, they deserve a lot of credit. What did uh, Coach say to you after the game ended up on the mound? Uh, he just told me congratulations and, um, you know, he's proud of me. And he said, uh, is it worth, you know, is it worth that you came back for your senior year now? I was like, absolutely, 100%. <laughs> Yeah, well, as soon as I let go of the pitch, I knew that I executed it the way I wanted it to. And, um, you know, all game, and that pitch has been working. And I knew that it was going to roll over, and, uh, you know, I had a lot of confidence that Josh was going to make that play. He made five or six of them this game. So, um, you know, I threw my hands up, and I just knew it. So, I don't know. I was hoping I didn't jinx it. So, Were you aware if it wasn't a three-up, three-down inning, say a walk, you were coming out? I wasn't. Um, I don't think I would handed the ball off, but um, – you know it's early in the season. We 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 you know we talked about a pitch limit, you know before the game, and um, you know I was able to keep my pitches down. Um, a lot to do with the defense behind me. Um, you know just throwing strikes early, and those guys made plays. So a lot of credit to them. It seems like you really came out firing. I mean, did you did you feel that good coming out of the bullpen? Though? Yeah, I felt really good today. Uh, you know, starting off, and then um, you know that's a, that's that's how it is opening night every every year for me. Uh, you know, jacked up and. You know, it's first time playing baseball in six months, so or against another opponent. Opponent, so um, you know, I'm all, I always get you know pretty hyped up for that, and um, you know, I'm a, like I said, this is my last, this is my last opening day ever. So um, you know, I wanted to, I guess I went out with a bang. So, Jared, when your defense is playing like that, how much does it help your confidence on the mound? Yeah, I mean, I knew that we was gonna have a great defense, you know, coming into the year, just playing all fall and um, all spring, and you know, as a as a pitcher. Our job is to go out there and you know get early contact and have confidence in that defense. And having Kramer and Cole in the middle, it's, 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 it makes it, it makes it easier on us. And you know Josh is as good as they get at third base. So um, you know, just having those guys, you know, you make your pitch and just know that they're going to make that play. Um, you know, it really helps us out. What's one word to describe tonight? Uh, surreal. I mean, I, I still can't believe it happened, but um, you know, I'm happy we're going to celebrate tonight, and uh, you know, I'll go see my family and. You know, we'll see what happens tonight. A no hitter to start the season out. I mean, there's not, there's not a much better way to you know, get things rolling. I guess. Right. Um, you know, hopefully that's the bottom line, and then you know we only get better. Um, but you know, all seriousness, um, you know, each item we want to go out and get better. You know, improve. Um, you know, I'm not and I gave up any hits, but I definitely made mistakes. So there's a lot of room for improvement for me. Um, you know, it's a lot to do with luck, man. Um, you know. Not many no hitters are ever thrown, so you know when they happen, it's it's a lot of luck to do with it. And um, you know, luck was on my side today. You said you uh, made a couple of mistakes. Do you feel like tonight was your best ever pitching performance, or do you feel like you've had some some better stuff on nights, but maybe the ball didn't bounce your way? Um, you know, early on, I had really, I had you know, my I had my stuff working for me. Uh, fastball and my slider was um, 
you know, it was doing really, pro, really, really good for me. I felt felt good. It felt good coming out. And um, you know, as the game went on, I kind of, uh, you know, I lost a feel for it a little bit. Um, it wasn't as amped up. I didn't have as much juice on the ball. But um, you know, I was able to. My command was was as good as it gets tonight. So. Who did you think was Jimmy? Was? I actually didn't see him, um, but I figured there was a sense of mine down there. And, you know, if it, if it wouldn't have worked out, I knew he was going to come in and close the game, and uh, you know, we still going to get the win anyway. So. And what did you say when Paul asked you? Are you glad if he could do that? Oh, I was, yeah, absolutely, 100%. Do you remember the last time you've thrown a no-hitter, if ever? Um, when I was a senior or a junior in high school, I had like a controversial no-hitter. Like I called it a no-hitter, but the other team didn't. I don't really know the actual <laughs> rule with it. But it was actually a 10-walk no-hitter versus um, Holy Cross. I think it was my junior year. Um, but like there was this play, and we called it an error, but they called it a hit. So. But yeah, that's the real one. That's the real one.